Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to create the mapped reports uh, in SSRS. Uh, so with SSRS, uh, we have a set of uh, installed uh, maps, uh, which are called map gallery. And those are only available uh, for United States uh, of America. If uh, you have different data set uh, that include other countries, uh, you will not be able to use those uh, installed uh, maps. Uh, one of the template uh, with the installed maps are called the bubble map uh, that give us uh, really easy choices uh, or real quick choices uh, to select uh, different properties uh, by using the wizard uh, and create a bubble map. Uh, so let me show you the data we are going to use uh, for this uh, uh, report. We have population uh, by state uh, and uh, these all states uh, belong to United States of America. So we have a uh, state name and population by state. So I'm going to take this query. Let's go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create a new report. So right click on the reports, add new item. So report and then select the, provide the report name. I'm gonna leave this one report three, fine. One thing I would like to tell you here, the this bubble map template if you even create the report from basic, you can create the exactly the same report by yourself by playing with the properties. So they are no different, but this template help us to create quick report. So right click on data sources, add data source, provide the name, let's call this one DS sales as we are pointing to the sales database. We will be using share data source sales underscore 2014. Hit okay. Right click on data set, add data set and provide the name. Let's call this one D set map. Embed in my report, select the data source, paste your query and hit OK. Now right click here in the design surface, go to insert and bring the map. It will open a map wizard. We have map gallery already here. So use the spatial data from a set of installed map. And under here we see that it is only available for United States. So we have states by county or USA by state, USA by state exploded, USA by state insect, inset, sorry. So you can select any, whatever works for you. Let's go ahead and use the exploded one. Hit next. And now, we can adjust uh, where we would like to see our map. We can uh, uh, put on the left or right or down or up uh, and uh, these arrows can be used uh, to position our map. We can also use a mouse uh, to adjust this one. And this is the quality of the map. I'm gonna leave this one to the best. Crop map as shown above. So whatever we have selected, uh, this is how we would like to crop and uh, that will work uh, just fine. Now, we don't want to add the Bing Maps layer on top of our map. If we would like to add, you have options Road, Aerial and Hybrid. But in our case, we are not going to add that. We will have another demo on this one. Next, here we have three different types of maps available. We have Basic Map, we have Color Analytical Map, we have used these both in our previous videos. With the Basic, it will just give us map and we have to pretty much configure everything from scratch. So wizard doesn't do anything, it just give us a blank map. With the color analytical map, it give us a map with the colors. Also, it connect the data set to the, to, to the map. So it give us more options and by the end of this template, pretty much our map is ready. With the bubble map, it's another type of template and you can see that there would be bubbles included on the states. So let's click this one. Now we set our, select our data set. And here there are two data set available. One data set is provided by the install maps. It's called spatial data. So we have a state FTP, FFP, those are the numbers. And we have a state USPS, so those are abbreviated or two corrected uh, corrector uh, codes for the state and then we have state name and here from our data set uh, dstat map we have a state name and the population and uh, wizard was smart it took uh, the both state names and already joined them so if uh, the, the their name would be different uh, let's say this column name would be uh, in our case let's say it will not be state name then it will be not mapped directly so you have to 
click and select from the drop down but as they are same so it already took them you can join on multiple columns as well so in our case we have only state that's the that, that's why we have only joined them on state so from these two data set we have to join them on some of the column hit next and here we have the theme so we have generic forest and different themes available for us so we can select any theme what we like let's go with ocean this time use bubble size to visualize data so that's fine we would like to see and it is shown state fp so we don't need to have state fp we would like to have the population so depending on the population we would like to have the size of that bubble so that's fine use polygon colors to visualize data so what once we click this one it will include different colors for us and it say okay what is data field so we are going to tell okay sum of population so you can see that now we have two different type of uh, center points i will say one is this marker called the bubbles and on top of that we are also coloring our states and the rule for uh, color is green yellow and red so you can go ahead and do both of them we can remove them later and display labels okay what we would like to display here i would like to display the state abbreviation stus ps so that's what i would like to display and our map report is ready with the given selection so hit okay now we can move on this side here let's uh, make it a little big now we give some size let me give some size to the map and preview the report now we can see that uh, with the california and texas uh, we we have a lot of data and that's why we see the big bubbles uh, with the other states uh, where there is a small data we see the small uh, bubbles uh, so that's how your bubble report will work uh, and if you see dark green these are the colors are given to the states so you can see that here for 560,000 to 3 million is a dark green and you we can see that if the population is between this range we'll have dark green then from 3 million to 6 million we'll have light green and for yellow 6.6 .6 million to 12 million we have yellow and keep going to the five ranges so you have five ranges here and then bubbles also is uh, from 560 uh, thousand to 3 million we have this small bubble and if you see right here these are very small bubbles and uh, the same way we have uh, uh, the same exactly the same way we have five ranges for the bubbles so let's say if i would like to decrease that range or i would like to introduce my own range how i would do that so let's go back to design we will click on the map right here and then go to the polygon layer properties and here we have different contents so if you click here it says show context menu so right next to the i there is a drop down click here polygon properties you can go there and see different things here is the label and we don't have any tool taper. let's go ahead and include the tool taper because we would like to see the actual value for the population so i'm going to go ahead and include the field called the population so once i hover my mouse there i would like to see the value itself fonts if i would like to change the fonts i would like to make bold for my state uh, these abbreviations so i can do that if i would like to fill right now it is solid white but it's not used because the polygon color rule is using a different scheme so it is not using a template so it is a template is our uh, this is part is called template so it is collect, uh, selected as a solid but it's white so it's not used let's say if i would like to have this one let's leave this one to the light gray and then we can change when we go there if we would not have or we don't want to have multicolor borders if we would like to include a border right now it's gray and uh, let's say if we want to increase the size or decrease at 1.5 you can do it and shadow if we would like to include the shadow we can have shadow for the states and action if you would like to click on anyone and want to go to the next uh, report or URL you can configure right here hit okay 
Now, come back to the polygon color rule and that's where the color of this uh, maps uh, are defined. So you can see that there are three basic colors, uh, green, yellow and red. And when we go to distribution, uh, there are five ranges. Uh, so you can see the range here, dark green, light uh, green, yellow, tomato and red. So these five ranges are given right here. And also it is even optimal. So it is selecting uh, chain distribution options to divide data into sub ranges. So it is using optimal type as of now. We can change to the interval if we would like to, or we can change the distribution, or we can write our own. So it is our choice. I'm going to go back to general and I'm going to apply the template. Remember the template was the gray I have set in the polygon properties. So I'm going to apply this one and we will play with the bubbles. And if we would like to come back and provide the values, we can do that. Hit OK. Now, you can move your uh, map up and down the way you want it and uh, as of now you can see that that uh, uh, legend is gone so we do not have any background color for the states anymore we have only the bubbles uh, right here let's go ahead and preview it so we can see that still uh, the bubble size we see is very small and the range is already defined i'm going to define to three ranges so let's go back and define by ourselves go back here center point of properties center point colors and center point size so there are different properties we can use it so let's go to the center point of properties first and take a look right now it is circle that's why it is showing us these bubbles and we would like to have if change the color or fonts and all those kind of things that we can change right here these are fine i'm going to go to the center color so we are not really changing any color. It is applied as template. So it was uh, just a uh, simple circle. So that's fine. The size, uh, actually, I would like to change. So point size. And here you can see that the visualize data by using a size. So initial is a five. I'm going to change this one to 15. And then a maximum is a 30. So that's fine. And then what I would like to do, the default size is 10. I'm going to go to distribution right now it is using five different ranges but I'm going to use a three and only use my custom so I'm going to go to custom and add if I will say if my value is between zero to two million then use the first one then if it is between two million to five million use a second size and then if it is more than 5 million and maximum value we are going to take from population so I'm going to say max and uh, let's say we use uh, data set population that's the field we are going to use hit ok now this is going to use uh, these uh, different sizes uh, but only three sizes will be there and these are the ranges we will be using uh. so let's go ahead and see now if you see that uh, here between uh, 0 to 2 million uh, we see that this is the first one uh, and then uh, from 2 million to 5 million we see the other ones uh, right here and then we have big ones uh, such as for California and Texas uh, and some of them are overlapping uh, so we can't see the states uh, really like which one belong to which uh. so we have to adjust uh, the size of our map so let's go and make it big and uh, once we make it big we will be able to see them clear now it's much better you can see them at least now one more thing I would like to do just uh, beside the uh, this size I would like to color them for the first one I would like to have green and the other one I would like to have a, a yellow and the last one I would like to have a red so let's go back here click on the design here now go to the polygon layer properties and with the color center point color rule so click here and we are not using template anymore we are going to use our own colors so use the population and add first of all green then next yellow and then finally we'll add red and now we go to distribution instead of optimal we are going to use custom because we want to have a range so from 0 to 2 million we would like to have green 
and then from 2 million to 5 million would like to have a yellow and from 5 million to upwards would like to have a red so we can do that why I'm changing all these uh, if I can uh, create the bubble ma uh, map by using the bubble map uh, template uh, why I'm changing it so we can learn the things uh, okay we can have the control on the things uh, not just like okay we use a template and it is uh, done we can always go back and change it so you can see that now I have a 0 to 2 million is a green and in uh, small size and then I have uh, from uh, 2 million to 5 million in the yellow and uh, they are in the uh, middle size uh, right here and then I have a big size uh, and uh, if the range is uh, above 5 million to the um, whatever the max uh, population for states available so you can see that to uh, California uh, Arizona Texas uh, and Florida and all those states are in the red so this is how you will be creating a bubble map from your um, template and then changing it by yourself so let's see we do not want to have this legend here and we can remove it it will give us some space so let's go back and uh, just delete it even you can have a delete uh, let's say for the size we would like to delete this legend so we can do that as well so go to the polygon layer properties here and then we go to the uh, center point size rule so we go there and we would like to remove the legend so we are gonna go and select the empty space there it will remove here this one is for color so we can go for color and change it or remove it or simply we can click here and it will remove everything so our choice and then it will give us more space to see the map if we don't really care about the range like uh, or we could have taken that range here let's say if I will do control Z and uh, now if uh, I can move this one on this side or even right here somewhere so you can move uh, these different uh, parts uh, on left or right or all that and by doing it uh, you will be able to adjust uh, and let's see here now you have uh, uh, this uh, legend r uh, range right here and your map, map is right here it give a little more space uh, to see the things uh, if you want to delete this uh, this part you can go ahead and uh, delete it you don't need that let's say we don't need this part as well and this part as well so we are left with uh, this one now the i think so that's pretty much it if you would like to introduce the colors for the back you can go to the polygon here and uh, as i was telling you guys uh, you can always uh, let's say here you can go to the polygon properties and color rules and uh, that's where we can uh, change the color let's say if I would like to have uh, uh, colors uh, depending upon the random and uh, all that we can uh, use them so depends whatever you like so let's say you would like to have custom colors you can uh, do it here um, and if you would like to have some random colors uh, you can do that so yep so that's how you will be creating uh, your map reports uh, by using the bubble map uh, template and making changes uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in the next video